Hello and welcome back everybody to Far Away Story. Now, we are on a mission. A rescue mission, that is. Oh. There was a house. Why is there a um, Anyway, a house in the middle of the dungeon. Or at the start. Well, at the start that makes sense, I guess. Anyway, I shouldn't be wasting time. I don't know if I just read here and ramble. I don't know if that takes time away. I don't know how the time in this game works. You are here. Who would have thought there was a cabin up in the mountains here? Now talk to us. Just what is the cause of the snowstorm? You'll know very soon. Perhaps you should pluck your ears. Huh? Well, obviously it is a snow dragon. A what? That is a dragon's rock. <laughs> For a very long time, a dragon has lived in this land. Why is it always a dragon? That's really just like in Capella's Promise. A fucking dragon. Always people are sacrificing people for dragons. Take your sword and beat that shit. A dragon. Now that's a surprise. I thought they were all but extinct. Don't tell me that's the cause of the storms. Indeed. The storm is the dragon's breath. Hmm, at least he's like the opposite dragon. And sacrifices must be offer to, offered to appease it. Which means, if we beat up the dragon, we can save Mimi and the village. It won't be that simple. For you see, the dragon is also the guardian deity of our village. What do you mean? Let me tell you a tale. It was over 30 years ago. All around this village of Northine is a vast expanse of snow. Again, great music. Again, I don't hope it's uh, really copyrighted. <laughs> this island is frozen year-round, poor and strapped for food. Desperate to live, we scarcely managed to survive on the little we had. The same is true for the other creatures who inhabit this island. God damn it, who inhabit this island, not who inhabit this highland. Jesus. I can't even talk. Even the monsters struggle amongst each other for survival, and they frequently attack the village. Each time great damage has come to the village, and yet we carry on. Yet as our battle went on many long years, we came to our limits. We risked death. That was when we heard a legend passed down on this island. For the ti for time immemorial. A dragon has slept on the peak of the mountain. If one were able to speak to the dragon, it would no doubt lend you its power for a prize. In all honesty, no one much believed that such a dragon existed. And if it did, they thought that it would not lend them its aid. However, they were cornered. They had no other options, so they took a chance. They decided to go to the dragon and arrange a deal. You don't look like an ice dragon, you look like a regular dragon. A dragon? So one truly lived in this land? I don't know, a dragon voice? Who goes there? Great dragon of old. My name is Falo Falonia. Falonia, I don't know. Surely you understand the severity of interfering with my sleep? Please forgive my rudeness, O oh great dragon. Very well. If you have come to this place, it must be for good reason. Correct? Yes. Please listen. We face the threat of destruction. None of our citizens possesses the power to fight against beasts. Our bodies and minds grow weary from their increasingly common attacks. We surely walk a road of ruin. For the sake of our continued existence, please lend us your great power. We will offer you whatever you seek in exchange. What I seek, you say? Ha <laughs> ha So be it. I will lend my power. Conditionally. We dragons wish for the continuation of our kind. For this we need powerful mana. Let the price of our pact be the sacrifice of those among you who possess such strong magic. I thought mana wasn't magic. Man. Oh well. One every three years. I will accept no other terms. Ha, what's the matter? 
This is what a pact with a dragon entails. Has it taken this long for fear to sink in? Uh, sink in? I, un I understand. It is a small price to pay compared to the deaths of many. I accept this pact. Excellent resolve. Now speak your vow. I vow in the name of Falonia. Now lend us thine, thine own power. And then it made shine, and everyone died. The end. And so she made a... Ah, no, that's Dagon again. Not dragon. Dagon, dragon. Not that easy. <laughs> and so she made a pact with a dragon to protect the citizens. Though she was to lose her own life as part of the prize. And you know the rest. Her family inherited the duty of sacrificing themselves to protect the village. The question now stands, though. How did they reproduce if... Man, they must have produced children like crazy. And then only one, the oldest, could, must have been kept alive, so that at one point he can get children too. And his younger sisters always were fed, otherwise this won't work out, with the next generation getting children. You understand that? That's pretty fucked up. I don't know if the cr game creator actually thought, thought so far, though. And Mimi is the last of her descendants. The village snowstorms are caused by the dragon. It is effectively a sign that it seeks a sacrifice. No way. You can't sacrifice Mimi, even if it is for the village. I don't want that at all. If the pact is broken, the village will be blown away. And without the pact, monsters would storm the village. There is no other way. How selfish. You can't expect me to just accept making young Miss Mimi a sacrifice. But Mimi has chosen to be a sacrifice herself. That is why she left you. Her lone sacrifice will save many citizens. The choice is obvious. I can't understand that. I don't even want to make a choice. What do you mean to do? Let us through. We'll go take Mimi back. You shall not. You seek to destroy what we have protected through the sacrifice of so many? That's not what I want either. But I want to help Mimi. I don't want her to be a sacrifice like the rest of her family was. I'm with Pia on this one. She's done us countless favors, so we should at least repay her for that. As for saving the town, there may well be another way. Having the dragon change the conditions of the pact, for instance. Futile. It won't accept the breach of the contract. Won't it? Have you tried that th sort of thing before? You're not just resigned to it being impossible? Please let us through. We want to protect Mimi and Northheim. The dragon is immensely powerful. If it comes to a fight, your lives will be over. Would you yet go? Everyone. I know. We're all on the same side. Uh, we're all of the same mind here. Yeah, we're not going to get scared now. I will do what I can too. Okay, thank you guys. Can you do this deed? It is something which we have not managed in 30 years time. Oh, it is only 30. Are you fucking with me? It's 30 years and apparently nobody knows? Except for you and the family and the village. Man, people in these lands don't get that old, huh? They all die with 22 or what? Oh well. It's a bit illogical. But, well, man, what can you do? This game explains so much and it does such a good job. Like, like minor things like that. Who gives a fuck? Well, we'll try. Because Mimi is a dear friend to me. Very well. I'll tell you where Mimi is headed. Head to the summit up the path ahead. To the sacrificial altar. So Mimi is up ahead? Yes. As well as the ancient dragon. I recognize your determination. I suppose I must respond to it. Now let the path to the altar open wide. You may go. The path is open. Let's go. There won't be much time. Let's hurry. Indeed there won't be much time. Okay. Epic music, gotta say. Man, this game's music. I gotta say, whoever created... I don't know if it's all done by one person. As mentioned, I got not copyright strikes, but like copyright mentions on my video. 
that the creator may make ads on may put ads on my video and I can put ads on my in the videos myself and since I don't do that I mean I have 70 subscribers so I have 70 68 well don't brag with things you don't have <laughs> and since I have 68 subscribers why would I put ads on my videos that's ridiculous and um, yeah I got mentions like these but it's not like that works like a strike so I'm always like ah I hope someday that this doesn't involve evolve into a strike. Anyway, this music is great. So, applaud to you, music creator. You may well have at uh, at money from that if you want it. You can have mine. It's probably not so much though. <laughs> All right, are you people ready to save Mimi? Well, then here we go. Oh, there's a dungeon before it. I should have known. Okay, well then I hurry up, and I'll be back. Whoops. I'll be back when I- ah, fuck it again. The controller changes the button every time. Damn it, and I don't have much healing juice with me. I probably should have synthesized something before going into the dungeon. But oh well, now it's too late. So I'll be back when we're at the dragon. Oh, cutscene. By the way, why am, why am I doing this dungeon completely alone? Why is nobody fighting with me? That makes... This now really makes no sense. I mean, we're on a saving mission for Mimi. I know I, um... I didn't get uh, Irina for walking with me through dungeons. But still, it kind of makes no sense. Oh well. <sighs> is it ever cold? Can't we do something about this? Do you have any kind of con... Concoction... Concoction like that, Carnell? Is that something like a potion? Like a coconut potion? I don't even know. Wow, what a word. <laughs> sure, give me a second. That is really an intimidating word. Wow. And that coming from a German. Where all the people think all my words are intimidating. Even when I say like, I don't know, I love you. People think I'm yelling at people. Just because they watch too much internet videos. Something to stave off the cold. Oh, that cat, that was more butthurt than I intended, actually. <laughs> My bad. I mean, funny. I also laugh about funny internet videos of other people's languages, so I shouldn't be butthurt about German ones. All my stuff is frozen. And these below freezing temperatures, any liquid is right out. Say what? Oh, if I'd known, I would have brought a banana so I could try ponding a nail in it. <laughs> While you were messing around with that, you'd freeze. What are you saying? Put a nail in a banana? Apparently bananas can freeze right over. Oh, I think I have some leftover bananas. I brought bought an errands. Why don't we give it a try? You brought some? Bananas are in snacks, so what's the problem? This isn't a picnic, guys. Wait, hold on. Huh? A frozen bananas really not a snack? Oh, now that you mention it. They're like ice cream, aren't they? So I'd call them a snack. But a banana's a banana. Just freezing it wouldn't change the way you treat it, would it? But when you turn potatoes into chips, that puts them into the snack category, right? Don't you think it's a perfectly plausible? It's perfectly plausible that freezing a banana could do the same. When you put it that way, I'm not sure anymore. Don't be fooled, Pia. He's pulling a bait and switch. Indeed, I think it's right to classify frozen bananas as a snack. Don't you think so too, Miss Arena? Sorry, but I wouldn't call it a snack either, because when you're just carrying one around, it could melt or freeze. And what then, genius? Haha, Carnell lost this round. Ah, uh, Miss Arena too? This is bananas. <laughs> I wonder how that worked out in Japanese. By the way, why are we doing this right now? Well, we should get moving. Yes, I felt su- I feel it suddenly got extra cold. Uh huh? Oh, because of the bananas pun. Thank you, I didn't even... I, I talk so much I don't even recognize jokes anymore. That's how much I talk. I should shut up from time to time. Cheer up, Mr. Canal. Want to pound a nail in a banana? No. I think that's enough about bananas. Alright. I am kinda confused what that even was supposed to accomplish, but okie dokie. Let's run on, shall we? Ah, uh, damn it, I can't get past. Fuck! F 
Fuck. How did I manage to do that? Oh god, I hope uh, when I sleep now... Uh... Oh, I hope Mimi isn't dead now or something when I sleep. I swear to god, if I die because of a fucking... Uh, if Mimi dies because of a fucking whatever that was... That is unacceptable. Then I'll do... Then I'll reload an old save file. I usually don't do stuff like that, but that would be not okay. That would be not okay. I hate reloading old save files. That's the coward's way of playing. But that would be a fucking exception. And I again did not make any new potions. Jesus, I am dumb. Oh, God damn it! the time really went on. I swear, this is completely not okay if uh, Mimi dies because I was too slow. That is absolutely not okay. And the time goes on again. God damn it. If this game makes sense now, uh, Mimi is dead. But, but I swear to God, that is absolutely not okay. And I will make exception to rules I'll follow since I don't know when. Since always, since I turned 12 or something like that. And I wouldn't get angry when I uh, had to do stuff over, you know. Like becoming older than 12 and not being angry with the games all the time anymore. On the other hand, when I watch myself play video games, I get still angry quite often, so... What do I talk about, actually? Okay, let's talk to the dragon. Add the dragon. Ah, over there! Ah, hallelujah, okay. Mimi's not dead. The time limit was only, um... Was only at the finding out part. Okay. Well, good then. Ha! Huh. It has been long since such interesting ones have come here. Humans. And a child of God. That's the dragon. It's bigger than I expected. Why? Why did you come here? Isn't that obvious? We're here for you, Mimi. Okay, Mimi? Get away from there. We'll leave together. I'm sorry. I can't do that. See, I... Oh, we've heard everything. You're going to sacrifice yourself for the sake of the village. You knew? Then why... We didn't. Not until a little while ago. I never couldn't... I never couldn't guess you were burdened but with something as big as this. Why didn't you tell us? I'm sorry. I didn't want to worry you. You don't have to be concerned about that. We could have helped if you told us. We'd look for a way to save both you and the village. No, there isn't any way. That can't be true. We'll find a way to help the village without having to sacrifice anyone. There can't be. If there were, then my mom, my grandma, they wouldn't have had to die. Me, my being a sacrifice was decided the moment I was born. The law of the family. I was so scared, but I had finally made peace with it. And now you start saying this to me? Mimi, we're sorry for never noticing any of this. Really, we should have caught on when we saw you were living alone. All kinds of factors delayed it. But now we know all about the situation you're saddled with. We're going to save your village. So please, stop saying you're going to sacrifice yourself. There may not be a way to help your village at the moment. But we can work to find one. However long it takes, we'll see it through. By the way, the dragon is just standing by and listening to this. <laughs> Aha! Do you hesitate, summoner? If your mind has changed, then so be it. I will not force your hand in the decision to offer up your life. Yet you will also lose my protection. No, I can't have that. I'll be the sacrifice to save the village. But take a look around you. It would seem some would not allow it. Dragon, if you lay a hand on Mimi, I'll stick a sword in your throat. They are spirited swords. I'll bathe. They would stand no chance against me. I grow tired of this. Summoner, do something about these visitors. Alright. Oh, we're fighting Mimi now. Mm. There's no other way. 
Are you trying to say you'll keep protecting the village for years and decades to come? There's just no way. It's so difficult to live on this land. So, I'm sorry. Fenrir. What? A summon spell? Blow them away. Ugh, what power? This isn't good. We can't even approach her. Leave. Stop looking at me like that. Just go away. Ugh, what can we do? Hey, Elavark, aren't you a demigod or something? I don't want this one bit. Not after you and I got to be such good friends. It's too late, okay? I need to fulfill my duty and go where my mom is. Don't be ridiculous. There's no need for sacrifices. You and your village, I protect both. Oh, this happened now. Ah! The side arc came into the main arc. You know what I mean? Oh well. <laughs> Miss Pia, that's the fabled hyper special aura. And you're not as strong as Pia's special aura, Elevarg. That's kind of disappointing. Stay away! If you come any closer, Fenrir's not going to go easy on you. Miss Pia, don't be rash. You can't fight this alone. But we can't even approach. Ah, if it weren't for the snowstorm. Elevarg, there's something about the snor snowstorm, is it? Hell, can you do something? Yeah, I'll just need a little bit. Hopefully Pia can hold out, uh, hold out that long. I'm sure she can. In that state of hers, Pia, use your hyper special with F. God damn it. Okay. Switching to the keyboard. <laughs> I had to tell the game at one point that I'm using a controller. On the other hand, my controller is always switching up the buttons, so whatever. Uh, okay, with F. Who the fuck is F? Are you F? Yeah, hyper special motherfucker. Oh, that's how we roll. Yeah, okay. Okay, now I can get, go back to the controller, I guess. God damn it. Oh god. 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 I am so doomed. I am so doomed. Oh. Keep you keep you waiting, eh? Yeah. Hello, Mark! Your dick. Your eternal dick. Ah, <sighs> shit. Ah, <sighs> fuck, king, hell. Why couldn't I heal myself before this shit? And why didn't I have more potions with me? Also, I need to put potions in the item slot down there. You remember that one where the magic attacks are as well? If I always open the menu and use uh, potions in the fight like this, I'm doomed. I really put, need to put more th uh, thought into the combat. God damn it. Is the episode long enough? Uh, I, don't, I don't really know, to be honest. Probably not. I don't know. How much do I have to cut out of this? Well, maybe, I guess it's hopefully enough for 20 minutes. And if it's shorter than 20 minutes, I mean last episode was 32 minutes. So, maybe last episode you got more, and this episode you get less. Also, since when it is a rule that a uh, faraway story is at least 20 minutes. In the beginning, I actually wanted to make it less than 20 minutes. But, you know, it's always tough with uh, story-based games and a lot of dialogue to actually make short episodes. So, you know... Also, I personally, I don't know about you people, and if you think differently, leave, leave it to me in the comments, but like, I want to have at least a little bit of story and a little bit of progression in each video. And when I always see these like 10 minutes video, I'm like, nothing happened. Really nothing happened, so that's why I usually tend to at least make 20 minutes. But that's, that's just how I roll. <laughs> so thank you everybody for watching. Come back for the next episode. Uh, I'll come back when I beat this fucking wolf. Uh, yeah. And I'll see you then. Or, no, let's say I come back when um, Elevark finally helped me and stopped the storm. The storm. Yeah, anyway, and I'll see you then. <laughs> Jesus, I'm rambling again. So, once again, thank you. I, th I think I said this now the third time. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.